All the horses have now reached the starting point and they're loading into the gates. First one in was number seven, Firing Red Jess from the outside stall. The next one in from the inside stall, number one, S.W. Hail to the King. Number two, Fast Streak and Nick is in. Number three, Later Tater, one of two in this field for James Bogar and trainer Barry Wood. Number four, Is It Sweet to Be First? Five, Ice and Snow, the other Bogar Wood combination. Bell trying to win both ends of the Daily Double. They're at the post. And they're off. Out quickest was Fast Streak and Nick. Away second in the center of the track is Ice and Snow. Towards the rail is S.W. Hail to the King. But Fast Streak and Nick, three parts of a length, flying from the extreme outside is Firing Red Jess. Firing Red Jess is going to win it by a length and a quarter. Fast Streak and Nick second. We're going to have a show photo between Ice and Snow and Jess a sweet surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, while we await the official results, stay tuned after this race as we will have a pony parade following the conclusion of the total results of this second race where you can vote on your favorite pony and person at the tent and the winner will be announced following race number six. That's the pony parade upcoming after this second race. The results of the second race are now official. The winner is number seven, Firing Red Jess. 
Four-year-old Sorrel Gelding by Mr. Jess Tex out of Easily Holland by Holland Ease. Fold in Ontario by Gilan Paquin. Firing Red Jess is owned by George Coleman, trained by Scott Reed, and ridden to victory by jockey Cassandra Jeske. Firing Red Jess winning the distance with a time of 15.37 seconds, carrying a speed index of 99. Second number two, Fast Streak and Nick. Third number five, Ice and Snow. And fourth number six, Jess a Sweet Surprise. Here now are your total results of the second race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, S.W. Hail to the King was fifth with a time of 15.65 seconds. Number two, Fast Streak and Nick finished second with a time of 15.52 seconds. Number three, Later Tater was sixth with a time of 15.81 seconds. Number four, It's Sweet to be first finished seventh with a time of 16.24 seconds. Number five, Ice and Snow was third with a time of 15.62 seconds. And number six, Just a Sweet Surprise, finished fourth with a time of 15.64 seconds. Number seven, Firing Red Jess, the race winner, with a time of 15.37 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom order, finishing your program should read 526734, first vet scratch. Those are the total results of the second race. In this upcoming third race, just one overweight, number three, Love Cartel will carry two pounds over. Do it, look it. Oh, he's standing on top of the tower. Okay, the pony uh, parade's about to start. I can see already John McInerney is getting ready to show off, so I'll be quick. Look at these silks here. Mr. Coleman, George Coleman, congratulations. Your horse firing Red Jess. Uh, one picked by the uh, track program handicapper. I hear she's a Sharpie. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Cassandra Jeske. Um, I think she's going to have a big day today, but it's already a big day because you've won on Canada Day and, and Dad's got all the winning tickets. Tell me about firing Red Jess this year. His third start off the layoff. Did you expect him to have a peak effort? I mean, we're always hoping, but you know, George, you've read his program. He either runs really well or he runs, he falls on his face, and he runs mostly well. So... You're just hoping for the best run. That horse is fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, did you feel like you were going to whiz by them today down the stretch? Oh, we were we were good, yeah. yeah. Once we got going, I knew we were good. All right. Well, go on, get ready, and uh, we're going to talk to Mr. Coleman. Congratulations, Cassandra. And uh, Mr. Coleman firing Red Jess. You know, we've talked about him, and apparently his name is George, so you share your name with your own horse. Well, the barn names them, so I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any say in it. I went over to see him, you know, and he said, oh, we call him George. I said, oh, I didn't even know. So when someone says George, either the horse will answer or you'll answer. Okay. Now, did you have high hopes for him today? I mean, he's got lots of talent, but uh, sometimes he does fall on his face. Yeah, he's, he stumbled really bad the first week, and the second week we raced him. He got shoved around a little bit at the gate, but he raced really good, really and he shows speed, you know, so hopefully it's onward and upward now. Well, that's great. It's nice to win on Canada Day. Uh, the ponies, as you were remarking, they're about to do their little parade here, and they look fabulous. So let's uh, watch the ponies. Congratulations, and uh, keep, up the, keep up the winning, Mr. Coleman. Thank you. Okay.